हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट दी सॉलिड वेस्ट एंड द टाइप्स ऑफ द वेस्ट नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिस्पोजल मेथड्स बिकॉज वेन एवर वी गोज इन टू द वेरियस स्टेप्स ऑफ द सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट वी नो दैट वेरियस स्टेप्स लाइक फर्स्ट स्टेप इज जनरेशन ऑफ द सॉलिड वेस्ट सेकेंड स्टेप इज वी कैन से ऑन साइट हैंडलिंग ऑफ द सॉलिड वेस्ट ऑन साइट सेग्रीगेशन ऑफ द सॉलिड वेस्ट देन ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ द सॉलिड वेस्ट कैन अकर एंड आफ्टर द ट्रांसपोर्टेशन मैथड the last method is called as the solid waste disposal so there are various methods for the disposal of the solid waste for example we can say that open dumping should be done then on site handling uh, sorry uh, open dumping should be done sanitary land filling method is used then incineration process is also used composting method vermi composting method dumping into sea so all these are some methods of the disposal of the solid waste material so we are discussing first sanitary land filling method so sanitary land filling method so this method is better than open dumping method because in whenever we talk about open dumping method open dumping method has some disadvantages like it can cause some fall smell and it can create land pollution for the betterment of and for the cure of this cure the problems of that method we can use the sanitary land filling method and in 1935 a new system was arrived in california that is called as the sanitary land filling method in sanitary land filling method first we choose a large area for uh, disposal of the waste material so after the choosing a large area first we dig it so for digging purpose uh, for example if uh, first we choose a large area and then digging per process is done we buried some area and after that <coughs> that area is buried we first do a plastic coating inside it why we do plastic coating inside it because whenever we know that un underground the uh, in the underground the earth there is underground water is present and whenever we put some waste inside that so it will produce some liquid waste also biodegradable waste can be uh, some waste can be changed into liquid part so that liquid is called as the leachate so that leachate if we do not use that plastic coating or the coating with of impervious layers of the soil what will happen the leachate will be mixed with the underground water which is present in the soil so first there is the coating of plastic materials or impervious layers of the soil to prevent the leach the mixture of the leachate as well as underground water then some pipelines are also some pipelines are also used to for the proper transportation of the leachate because whenever leachate is produced it will be further treated uh, so some pipelines should be used for the proper transportation of the leachate as well as some gases are released so for the release of that gases we use some pipelines inside it and this all process is done in proper controlling and monitoring of the people now then the next process we put the solid waste whenever we put the solid waste materials inside the pit what happen after putting all the solid waste inside it we make again we make a layer of soil because it is very useful it is a alternative process that first we use waste material then we put soil there again we put waste material then we put soil on it because by this the order because bad smell will be produced this from this waste so for uh, <coughs> recovering this uh, uh, bad smells we use soil layers on this and by this the uh, good amount of uh, and the soil become more fertile now again we put solid waste on it then a layer of soil and finally when we put all the waste material a one fit soil is put on the solid waste and then 
it is covered by the soil so this method is called as the sanitary landfilling and if it is considered good then it will be transferred as the parks as well as the uh, areas which are useful for the human beings so this method is called as the landfilling method in this all the waste is filled inside the land next process is called as the incineration process so incineration is also called as the thermal process because at in this method we burn the solid waste so next process is called as incineration or we can say burning process the equipment which is used for the incineration process is called as the incinerators at high temperature we burn the solid waste and it will be converted into ashes and heat and steam also so this method is very good for if we want to reduce the volume of the waste material because whenever there is a huge amount of waste is created to decrease the volume of the waste we can burn it after this the only ash will be present and that ash can be transferred to the landfilling method so uh, incineration process but some it has some issues because whenever we do incineration process in incinerators and uh, any other places what happened some harmful gases are released after this process and which can cause air pollution so this method is not very good but now some alternatives are used that the heat which is produced by the incineration process is used for the production of the electricity and that energy is used now so this is the second method of the waste disposal method now third method is called as the composting method composting method means whenever we use some microorganisms for the uh, disposal of biodegradable waste material we know we in previous class we discuss about the biodegradable waste that waste which can be easily degraded by the bacteria and fungi that waste is called as the biodegradable waste so this process is mainly for that type of waste for example the mm, peels of the fruits and uh, vegetables egg shells and cow dung so all these are the examples of biodegradable waste if we want to convert it into the humus and manure then we use this method composting method so in the presence of air in the presence in the availability of the water the waste materials are uh, uh collect in a particular type of bin and then we use some amount of water in it and after few days we see that the particular type of waste is changed into a black color substance which is humus like structure and that humus like structure have high amount of carbon and nitrogen and which is an excellent medium for the growth of the plants so that method is called as the composting method and for uh, this method is also used in the small scale in the Industries as well as large scale industries, so this is very important method of disposal of the biodegradable waste. Now, sometimes we also use the <coughs> earthworms also. So that method is called as the vermi composting method because as we know that uh, earthworms are the friends of the farmers and they live inside the soil. so whenever sometimes we can use a particular species of the earthworm like red worms are used so red worms what they do they can convert the biodegradable materials into the humus like a structure manure which are which are also useful for the growth of the plant so they are nutrients and this process of vermi composting and composting process is generally done in the temperature of 12 degree to 25 degree centigrade and so all these are the methods of the waste disposal methods by doing such method we can reduce the waste from the land thank you